So I'm sure many of you remember how last year I joined a YouTuber SMP. I made two videos on it and then quit because they were not exactly very nice to me. And for those of you who do wonder why I quit, uh, they basically wiped the entire server and were like, yeah, you're just gonna have to start over and lose all your progress. But now I'm on a different SMP and I actually really like this one. And hello everyone, this is Aspect here and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we are on another SMP as you can see around me. This is the full moon SMP. P. It's another private SMP, and you might be wondering, Aspect, if it's such a private SMP, then how did you get on it? Well, one of the admins was lobby spamming it, and I decided to join. Basically, what happened is I was playing on Mineplex because I had nothing to do. So I was just 1v1ing people on Mineplex, and someone kept saying in chat to DM them on Discord to join an SMP. And then I was like, hmm, okay, I'll check it out. And then I did, and now I'm here. And this SMP is like really cool. So I'm currently at spawn as you can see. Over here we have some shops. I've actually not been here so let me go do that. I'm actually not sure what this is. We got some kind of shops here. Vokam's Hitman Services. Vokam is one of the admins I'm pretty sure. Selling food, ender pearls, blocks, armor, and tools. So that's another Vokam shop. Is he the only one with shops around here? Are these all his? But yeah, this is the actual spawn. You can't break anything in the spawn. Like if I try to break... But in the actual spawn, you can break anything. For example, these flowers. Yeah, you see? You can break this. Then over here, we have a spawn nether portal. I've actually not been here, so let me go through here. I've only played on this SMP for like a couple of days, maybe like a week. Let's see where this one spawns. This one spawns in a fortress, which is interesting. And it's one of these crimson biomes. I really hate these. And this is where the open world starts. You go out here, and you can start collecting whatever you want. If we go over this way, I'm pretty sure there's also a house here. Yep, indeed. Still not sure whose house this is. I checked out this house when I first started and uh, I actually, <laughs> funny story, I left a chest here and I set like a, a gift from the wizard or something on it and I put like a piece of cacti in it or something like that. That's kind of what I was doing because like originally I didn't take this SMP too seriously and then recently, well yesterday as of me recording this, I did a stream on the SMP, and people seem to really like it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. As we go out here, let's start mining some trees. Someone's already been down there, clearly. Right now, I just wanna get a little bit of wood because there is something really cool that I wanna show you guys. So let's make sticks and a pickaxe, and I'm also gonna make an axe. Now, the thing I wanna show you guys, first of all, let me eat these apples. If I go over to this tree and I chop down the bottom block, it destroys the entire tree. This is the same plugin that Infinity Craft had, and that was something that I actually really liked about the server. This plugin saves you so much time. It is so efficient. And there goes my wooden axe, cool. But now I do have 46 oak logs. Without this plugin, I would have about 10 by now. There's a zombie coming at me, so I'm gonna make a wooden sword. Screw you. Die. We're just gonna ignore that that ever happened. I got all my stuff back, it's all good. But yeah, as you can see, it's a very friendly SMP. There's no land claiming bullshit, no like land editing bullshit where you have to like claim specific land and like there's certain things in other people's houses that you can't edit or anything like that. All there is is a server, active admins. If something does get griefed, I hope that they uh, either revert it or give you back what you lost. At least I assume that's what they would do. Which is something that I'm really glad about because it really keeps the vanilla feel, I guess you can call it. Also, the sun is going down, which is why I'm going to slash trigger uh, home set to this is my house. Like I said, I've already been on this server for about a week, so I do have quite a lot of stuff. So let me just toss away this because I don't need it. We're gonna put this crafting table here because why not? I can have two crafting tables. And now let's go to this chest, which is where my real inventory is. Here we go. Yeah, as I said, I've already been playing on the server for quite a while, so I do already have, like, netherite shit and whatever. I also have these totems of undying. I didn't get these myself, I got these gifted by an admin. And you might also be wondering why I have these bottles of enchanting, because you can't actually get these. But in this server, you can. There's a really cool plugin that I will show you in a second. So I have five glass bottles, and I have eight levels. If I go over to this enchanting table... I can put my levels into bottles. I can store my enchantment levels, which is awesome. And to get them back, do not be confused. To get these back, you don't just like splash them on yourself because then you might lose experience. What you do, you go over to a furnace and put them in here and you get all of it back. There we go. Put all of these in here. There we go. Get them all converted. Bam, back to level 24, which is what I originally was at. This is super useful for when you go on, uh, for example, 
uh, like big trips where you think you might die and you want to store your experience. Also, another cool thing that this server has is if I go over here and I go into my elytra, which again, someone gave to me, it has mending protection on breaking three and it says plus netherite chestplate. This is a really cool thing on the server. If I go onto the, it's, I think it's the grindstone. If I drop it onto this, yeah. You can see it's separated into my netherite chestplate, which has protection for an unbreaking, and my elytra, which has mending and unbreaking three. Now, if I drop these together onto the anvil, so drop and then drop, they will be converted into an elytra, which is basically, this basically means that I can fly at all times, but I will still have the full protection of my netherite chestplate. It's an awesome plugin. I really, really like it. Other than that, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, this is my base, as you can see. These are the farms that I have. I still need to like light this up. As you can see, there's still some mobs spawning. I might actually go do that right now. Let me get these sticks. Uh, do I have any coal anywhere? Uh, this'll do. 31 coal, 60 sticks. That makes about two stacks of torches. And I'll just start lighting up the place. I kind of want to put them on the fences because that just looks cool, but it might not be enough. I might have to put some on the floor. The server is also on heart mode, so zombies can like break down doors and shit, which is a tiny bit annoying, but once I have everything lit up properly, it should be absolutely fine. Also, this spider is invisible. Hopefully, this will be enough to prevent mobs from spawning up here. At least, I really, really hope so. And as you can see, mobs do like to break down my doors, which is super annoying. Die! Thankfully, I have pretty much the strongest sword in the game, which only took like eight hours of playing. A video on that will be up very, very soon, though. I do think that I'm gonna make quite a lot of content on this SMP in general, because Minecraft content in general is something that's always been doing pretty well on the channel, and I really enjoy making it, and I'm not sure why I stopped, really. I guess it was because I was just playing on a single-player world, which I do want to continue, but I was getting kind of bored of it because I didn't know how to continue that world. And that's pretty much all I have. Down here I do also have a nether portal. This room is not built yet. And over here I am making my villager breeding room, which is also not done yet. I actually started this project uh, earlier today. It's really not done, but I'm mainly focusing on getting librarians because let's be honest here, that's all I need. However, what I will do is I will show you guys why I like the server so much. Well, I've already kind of done that, but I'll show you another reason. So right now you can see I'm just harvesting all my carrots from these beautiful farms that I have. Now, let's plant them back and now as you can see some are already on stage two which is very very quick now you might think okay let's just walk away for like three seconds and let's uh harvest our wheat we're just gonna take like a minute max so let's plant this back there we go plant all of them back make sure we don't miss a singular one because that would be pretty bad and now let's go back over here and we can see one of them is already full grown this server has a tick rate of like 50. Farms grow super quick on this, and I love it. You don't have to wait whatsoever. You can just, like, plant stuff, uh, literally, like, go AFK, get yourself some water or something like that, come back, and they'll be full grown. It's absolutely insane. This is really uh, good for, like, uh, sugarcane farms uh, as well, for example, as you can see. I have a sugarcane farm over here. Every time I loot that thing, it grows back in like three seconds. Like while I'm still harvesting it, it's already growing back. It's so fast. On lower end devices, I do think it could be a little bit laggy, but I have a pretty high end PC. So for me, it doesn't really matter. Also in this chest, I have a bunch of uh, enchanted books that I don't need. This is basically just me grinding for enchantments on my armor. Currently I have Aquafinity, Respiration 3, and I'm breaking 3. This one is pretty much done except for mending, which I do need to add uh, onto it and also protection which i don't actually have i just realized do i have a protection for book in here because i know i don't have mending protection four here we go let's just add that so i'll take off the helmet add this and this protection four well that was easy i don't know why i haven't done that earlier uh, the elytra plus netherite chest blade is already pretty much done. Maybe I'll add mending onto the netherite chest blade, but I'm not sure if that makes a difference since they're already kind of forged together because of the plugin. Netherite leggings. I have fire protection on this because uh, sometimes I'll like go into the nether and sometimes I'll get like stuck in lava just in case I put fire protection onto this. I might actually change the protection for on my netherite chest blade to projectile protection, but I'm not sure about that. And then the netherite boots. Feather falling for protection for and I'm breaking three. These also need depth strider and mending. And that is also another reason why I'm working on these villagers, because I want mending. But for some reason, they won't breed, and I don't know why. Also, there's nobody really online on the server, but that's mainly because most people on the server are American, I think. And here I am, being European, with my different time zone. So that's why there's nobody.
nobody on the server right now. Usually there's people online in like the evening for me. Well, you can't really see, but it's currently 1339 as of me recording this. So all the Americans are pretty much still asleep. So that's why there's nobody online. Oh, yes, they made a baby villager. Yes, okay, it works now. So now that they're both comfortable with their bed, I can keep breeding them. Okay, now it's gonna work. And on that note, I might actually leave this video here. This was kind of like an introduction to the full moon SMP. There is a lot I still need to do on the server, like with my base as well as like other things. I still want to max out all my gear. I've already maxed off my sword. I've maxed off my bow. But also, I do have to give credit. This mega simp X got gifted to me as well. And you might be wondering, Espec, why the hell would someone gift all these things to you? Well, I have no idea. The context was I was streaming on the server and then people that were online found out that I was streaming and they started to dick around my base and give me all this stuff and I got this X. This was actually the first piece of netherite equipment that I got because I still had uh, like all diamond shit when I got this. And they gave me quite a lot of things. So if you did give me something on the server, then I am very thankful for that. But anyway, this is where I'm gonna leave this episode. Like I said, this was kind of an introduction to the Full Moon SMP. I will do more videos on this. And I kind of wanted to forward the question to you guys. What do you guys want to see me do in videos? And what do you want to see me do in streams? Because right now, all I can think of that I'm gonna do is a lot of grinding and also a lot of building. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for video. So you guys can decide. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to let me know what they like right down below. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We just hit 300 subscribers, which is insane. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Of course, I do update that I will see you next time. Peace out.